Hey guys, weird angle here, but I wanted you to be able to see what we're talking about. Today, I'm going to be talking about this little guy. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I did a live video a couple weeks ago now. I don't even know how many days because I'm filming this in advance of it going live, but I did a whole like decluttering and setup um, of this new organizational system for my pocket size inserts. So first of all, this little guy is from a brand called Acromet. Um, trying to think, here it is. This one's the product. It's a three by five card file holder, available in other sizes, four by six and five by eight, as well as business card. <laughs> that would be one tiny pocket planner. Um, the idea of this though, so, Index cards, three by five. We're all familiar with them from like making flashcards as we were little and stuff. Um, but they're three by five and the pocket inserts are three and a quarter by four and three quarters. You do have a little bit of headroom here for like the tabs and stuff. And so this actually fits perfectly the little pocket inserts. Um, so hopefully those other sizes might fit other sizes of planner as well. I'm not off the top of my head would be able to tell you, but if you have a pocket planner, this guy is great and I will link it, this exact one and this exact color, um, down below in the description, but it also comes in, I think, white, black, and green. Um, it took me a while to get this only because they like didn't ship it or they, it got lost or something and I had to reorder it, but... It was like prime shipping next day, same as everything else. And it's it's great and I'm loving it. So I'm gonna just give you a little bit of a tour of how this works. Um, it came with these tabs, which are the ones I'm using and they're eh, whatever. I'd like to replace them at some time, but what they are is um, alphabetized tabs and they're like these weird round whatevers. But I just used a label maker and then I like folded it around the edge so it's a little bit sticky on the back still because it kind of has some overhang, but it works. Um, so what I've got in here is some archiving of old inserts and some storage of blank inserts. And then also back here, all of my tabs. And so everything is tidy and organized. The best feature is this little divider thing here that allows you to make it nice and tiny if I wanted it to be just like, you know, tight. Um, and I have it set like here because these laminated tabs do need to relax and lean back a little bit in order to fit well, but all the inserts fit perfectly. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm talking a lot. I just fil finished filming Thursday's video, so if you've seen that one, this is my weekly plan with me, check that out. So the first tab is for blank inserts. So where I have here these little Deloro jot pads and a couple of like plain blank file effects paper. I don't really use them for much, but here they are. Then grid, I have a bunch of these. They're like the side pages from the Mun Weeklies and all of that. So if I never need good paper, I know exactly where it is. Next is lined. So that's here. These ones are Peanuts Planner Co. Just plain old freebie lines. Um, and then these are a couple of year inserts. So I've got a 52 week here and then some recurring tasks. So, you know, they come on like four of them and you only use, I only used one of these recurring tasks for the year. So I'm not going to need to print them again until what, 2022. Um, then some monthlies, I believe. Yeah, there's a bunch of different kinds. Basically, you end up printing like four different versions of what you're doing. Um, and so you want to be able to store the other ones. So next time I go for my monthly, I'll you know, just pull this out and know what I already have printed. My weeks here, I believe, are these? No, there's a couple different ones from, you know, unused weeklies. Same story. These are all, I think, Peanuts Planico ones. Then so, all of these dailies are the same. At one point I went through, I was using these when I was on maternity leave and I didn't like having to reprint frequently because I was a busy woman with a baby. And so I printed all of these with weeklies in between um, for like months of them. And then I stopped using the dailies. And so I have a bunch. 
and it's all that effort. I don't want to ruin it. So the next tab is labeled Gonchi. So that's all of my stuff for my YouTube channel. These are some of the little like video planning um, half inserts that I use. And then these are some of the ones um, that I have for my content setup, which I will probably show you some of. Yes, I definitely want to show you it a little bit better this month. So that'll be in Thursday's video. So subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss that. Mis the miscellaneous tab is for other types of inserts. So right now I have some spare gift lists. These ones are from the planner spot. They're actually a freebie for November, so they may still be available if you check that out um, quickly, because I think there's a limited time on that. And then a couple savings trackers. Oh, and a blank version of the All My Routines from My Summer Touch. That one's brand new. And I'll be showing you how I used that in Thursday's video, the flip through, so check that out. Or subscribe so you don't miss it. NFP is for natural family planning. I have shown this briefly in a lot of my flip throughs, but I, I went ahead and shrunk down my chart to fit in here so that I have it on me and actually use it. So those I definitely have to keep for reference. Then a couple of journaling pages. I'm not going to show them to you because they're like thoughts and stuff. But sometimes when you want to journal, all you have on you is your ring planner and you're like, but what will I do with it when I'm done? At least now I know that they're all in one place, even if they're not bound. I still would prefer to journal in something bound, but like a traveler's notebook or a journal. But, you know, you make do with what you have and now I have somewhere to archive it. This next tab is called Abandoned. <laughs> So this section is all of the things that I like took notes on that I made plans for and now I'm not actively pursuing any of them. Having them around makes me feel guilty because I put a lot of effort into them, but also I'm not using them right now. So it makes me feel guilty that I am not using them and it makes me feel it would make me feel guilty if I threw them away because what if someday I might want to. So right now they're in this abandoned section. I'm just going to not worry about them. I don't feel guilty about them anymore, which is great. I mean, they're here if I need them. But in the meantime, I don't have to worry about it. Next is reference. These are inserts that I, um, I just don't have in my planner right now, but they're still not obsolete. So like this first one, for example. I took notes on our robot vacuum and when it needs to be repaired and fixed and stuff, but I don't want to carry this around with me, but I also don't want to throw it out because it's useful information. Some, like notes on games and stuff. Um, this is like a, a prayer. This is my cleaning routine that doesn't need to be in there because I use an app. And then the last section is dividers. And these are all of the dividers that I've made for myself. Um, and they take up a lot of room because they're all laminated, but now they're all in one place. I still want to go through and like organize them in order because there's some of them are not with their partners, but there they are. Then in the very back, I do have a section here for month and a section for week and day. So the idea is every month when I make up my new monthly setup, I will pull out all the weeks and days and all the months and stick them in here. And then quarterly go through and archive them for myself by which what I, I finally did this. At the end of my live stream, I had a stack probably this tall of inserts from the last year and a half since I moved into a ring planner. And yeah, it was just, I just kept them. I just, I had spent some time on them and they had memories on them. I didn't want to throw them away. So what I did, I organized them by date and that took forever. And then I filmed myself flipping through them for my own personal use. And I am just going to upload that as a private video so that I have access to it. And then I threw them away. And now they are no longer a weight around my neck. And I don't have to worry about them. So the plan is to do that every quarter, every six months, something like that. So they're just, um, there's a little tab in here for those until I'm ready to archive them and dispose of them. So we're only using about uh, half, 60% of this right now. There's room to expand. And I am really liking this. I am just keeping it in a drawer and then I pull it out when I need it because it it's it opens in the drawer but it kind of pushes stuff. So it's great. Um, and I recommend this. If you're in a pocket size, this is a really great option for um, archiving. It's like 20 bucks, so it's not like the cheapest thing in the world, but it's made of metal and it feels pretty sturdy. And it's not like expensive. You know, there's some options that are like actual file drawers for index cards, but this one is 
an affordable, I think, option, and it works really well. So I do recommend that. Check out the link below if you want to see what it looks like. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the flip through next week and all of my other videos every Thursday and Sunday. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.